Hello, this is Ju Hee Gang, and many of you probably know me as Ju Ji Moore. I'm the owner of Ju Ji K Craft, as well as a content creator on YouTube, delivering various workshops on how to make decorative cakes. Today, I will finally release the glossy buttercream recipe to you all. I would like to thank you all for being patient and supporting me endlessly for making the decision and sharing the recipe to everyone for free. To be frank, I've been postponing to shoot this video. There are many reasons for it. I first used this specific water cream to create and shape flowers. Then, I obtained a legal patent where the specific recipe copyright is with me. But, unfortunately, despite the patent ownership, there has been many issues and controversies to the point where I could not confront every single case. I have been exhausted and frankly, have felt hopeless at times. So, before I reveal the exam recipe I used to the public, I wanted to share my truthful story behind all the journey. From how I started using it initially, what kind of a journey I went through with this buttercream recipe ownership and why I decided to release the recipe to the public for free today. It is a very important piece of my business, me as Gigi and me as Juhi Kang. So, I hope you could listen to the story without skipping or fast forwarding this part of the video. To start, I did not major in baking or pastries back in college. I actually majored in fine art and created different art pieces, 2D and 3D pieces. Making cake was sort of happiness and stress relieving activity for me, kind of like a hobby. And while I was interested in making cakes, I came across flower cakes and really was in awe of its beauty. So, I started to get really into it. I started thinking how can make it look better and went through trial and errors day and night. At least until then, the buttercream that I knew were the traditional buttercream that everyone knew or used. When I searched on Google and YouTube or went through different recipe books, I found that all the different type of buttercream had only one texture. Because I'm not someone who went to culinary school, I was able to spark my curiosity on breaking the rules in baking art. So, instead of going about traditional way, I thought it might be fun to use cold butter when I was making the buttercream. Obviously, the buttercream turned out very weirdly. So, I thought this is why we shouldn't break the rules. The result was exactly as what we learned in school and from the books. All the butter was crumbly and not blending. When people had a such a result, often they would even throw it away because it was considered failed result. We would probably think this is why we must use room temperature butter. But then, I don't know when, but I started to think that this is not the easy failure or more so a new start for something else. Even when I used cold butter, the result wasn't always the same. Sometimes it came out really nicely. With this as a spark, I started to really experiment with the meringue technique, the butter temperature, and the environment temperature. And after much effort, many trials and errors, and working day and night, I finally was able to find the perfect buttercream recipe. That is the recipe that I have now. I also formulized the glossy buttercream in ways that can be used with less probability of failures and with convenience in any environment. With the recipe formula, I was able to create many different kinds of beautiful cakes, have on and offline classes around the world, and even publish my own book. I'm proud to say that my buttercream can produce more lively and vivid flowers, as well as more durable and diverse shapes. 
My butter cream does not melt as easily as a traditional butter cream. Of course, this is butter. It will melt eventually. But if I compare with the traditional one, I can proudly say that the GG butter cream melts less quickly. But when I started making the flour cake using my recipe professionally, people were not happy to have me in this industry. It was very hostile. Many people had criticized me for making the cake with failed buttercream. And often, some said that a non-culinary amateur was creating weird buttercream. It was only a few years ago since the people started showing positive attention on the glassy buttercream. With the flower cake rising is a big trend, many people wanted to know more about the translucent and the shiny textured buttercream. I think that was because you can tell that it was definitely looking different than the traditional buttercream. For the past 10 years, I've taught countless online and offline classes with this glassy buttercream. Many are now instructors themselves and also have trainees under them as well. I have never forbidden anyone to use this glossy water cream or ask for copyright fee or loyalty for the glossy water cream usage. In fact, I wanted everyone to use this glossy water cream as much as they want and create more beautiful flower cakes around the world. The only thing I asked for was giving Gigi Cakecraft the credit. It deserves whenever they use it publicly. I think this is any, any creator's entitlement. However, the most heartbreaking part of this journey has been when people started falsely claiming this glossy bar cream as their authentic recipe. People started using me as a part of their marketing promotions. For example, claiming that I was their trainee. Other times, some started spreading rumors about how toxic glass butter cream is. There were also some people who took the recipe, claimed the authentic city, and have sold it to others only for 50 cents. With these stories getting out of control, I legally obtained my patent from Korean Intellectual Property Office. This patent was not to forbid others or to attack others. It was purely to protect my creativity and my precious part of me. Once you actually make this buttercream, you may think it is easy to make. I actually spent sleepless nights because people criticized me for claiming ownership on a such a simple process of a recipe. But it may be seen easy to make, but I think that it was an unknown knowledge before people stumbled upon my recipe. There are no special ingredients to my recipe. They are all easily obtainable all over the world. The key to my recipe is simply the temperature. The temperature makes a whole difference with the glossy butter cream. So, one major thing of Gigi glossy butter cream that is different from all the butter cream out there is the temperature. If you look on the internet or YouTube, you will probably see the term Korean glossy butter cream, which is actually the same as Gigi glossy butter cream. Or, there are butter cream that look similar to Gigi glossy butter cream because follow the exact temperature formula that I created, but only just have added whipped cream or syrup instead of meringue, and some may consider them always different types of glossy butter cream. There is an rough saying. This means it's easy to add on to what's already invented. I think it's polar difference between inventing something without knowing the pre-existence of it, and adding something on what you know exists out there. It was really hard for me to create this specific glossy butter cream. It took me a long journey to overcome all the hurdles and criticism to get to this point. This point of sharing the recipe to the public for free. 
initially, I offered recipe classes online and offline with registration fees. I never thought of selfishly using this recipe only for myself anyways. I did not want to share the recipe to the public because I was forced to do so. I wanted to share this with sincere happiness and hopeful people enjoying this recipe. That's why it took me a while to bring this to you on my channel. So, I'm sorry for being a bit late. And thank you so much for waiting for me so patiently. I hope you can use this buttercream happily and create many more beautiful flower cakes in this world. But I'd like to please ask you to simply give GGK Craft the credit for the authentic of the recipe. That is all I ask. Throughout this video, there may be time you think you messed up the buttercream. Some may have flashbacks at times when you throw out all the buttercream because you thought you messed it up really bad. But please note this. That is exactly what you need to go through to create the glossy buttercream. That journey is a must. Okay, now let's get the actual tutorial started. Here we are, a million stars floating over our head. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Gigi K Craft channel. I'm Gigi. Today, I will talk about Gigi Glossy Buttercream on this video. Thank you for your waiting. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys everything on glossy buttercream from preparation to all the process. I will talk about every detail step by step, so please do not miss it. And all the ingredients we're gonna use to make glossy buttercream are available everywhere in the world. I started to use this glossy buttercream like this special texture first time to make flower shape. So I got a patent in Korea in 2015 and now Patent pending in some countries, including in US. When you use this, just leave a credit. That's it. That is all that I want. Then, let's get started. Here is the ingredients. 50 grams of water, 50 grams of sugar, 150 grams of sugar. They are exactly the same sugar. I just separated them. 450 grams of unsalted butter. Lastly, 150 grams of fresh egg white. The butter should consist of over 80% of fat. It must be animal butter, not vegetable, not margarine, not shortening. Using butter that meets only these conditions, you can make the glassy buttercream. And the butter's temperature is very important. The butter's temperature is at around 10 degrees. Put the 150 grams of sugar and water in the saucepan together. I use fresh egg white from the fresh egg. First, I'm gonna start off by whipping the meringue. I'm gonna put the 50 grams of sugar in three different steps into the meringue. Little by little. We need to whip it until it has a soft peak. Please check it continuously until it's hard enough to stick up. Now, it's done. Put the meringue on the side until your sugar syrup boils to 118 degrees. Now, this sugar syrup is boiling. You can sway the saucepan gently to even out the temperature. As soon as the temperature is at 118 degrees, turn off the stove and pour the sugar syrup. Whip the meringue at medium speed and pour it gently like a string. Now, we poured all the syrup. We need to cool down the temperature to below 30. We're gonna put it inside the freezer for a while, but not yet. Mix it at least for 5 minutes more. Then, let's put the meringue inside the freezer for a while.
Now I brought the meringue from the freezer. It's under 30. So we're gonna put the butter in. The butter's temperature should be around 10 degrees. Let me put the butter inside the bowl one by one. The buttercream is watery and there is small chunk. This stage is necessary. The more you whip, the less watery it will get. If you see this buttercream, you can see that water is gone slowly. But there is still a little bit of water. If you scoop it out with spatula and see that there is not water anymore, then you are done with making the glassy buttercream. The buttercream that on the left side is the glassy buttercream. On the right side is the traditional buttercream. These two are made out of completely same ingredients. But only the different environment was applied. The result is different. Glossy buttercream is good for making shapes and it can make your flower shape more stable. Plus, it looks more realistic. Glossy buttercream is more convenient to work with because it can withstand heat better than traditional buttercream. <laughs>